I love the Gunnison River because it's little and it's mighty um, mm -hmm. and it is steep. Like Grand Canyon, I think, is like what, five, six feet drop per mile. The Gunnison River averages 48 feet per mile. And in places in this national park, it drops 200 feet oh. per mile. So where it starts today um, at 8,000 feet to where it ends at 4,000 feet flowing into the Colorado, it's dropped 4,000 feet I mean, this is a very steep river. Now imagine our Gunnison uplift, all the volcanic debris, the river stuck on it. It can only carve down. And after Ice Age melting, lots of water, lots of minerals in the water, rocks, debris. It's like liquid sandpaper. And it just sliced, you know, 2,000 feet right down 3,000 feet through all of these rocks. And unlike Grand Canyon... I love Grand Canyon. I love all canyons. I'll just make that clear. <laughs> um, ours carved in a million to two million years. Grand Canyon, five to six million years. Grand Canyon is basement rock like us, but on top of it are thousands of feet of sedimentary rock. And as the Colorado River cut Grand Canyon, the sides start to fall down. And there's drainages that flow into the Grand Canyon, and those start to erode things away. We don't have that. We're an uplift, the Gunnison uplift. So when rain falls on us, it goes away from the canyon. So there's no erosion happening necessarily into the canyon. So it stays steep and deep and narrow. And it probably will for a long time, but not forever, because geology is always due for change. And it too will one day erode into nothing. It will be gone.